in the preloader I already explained a little bit about uh, how the component in inspector works and how you set the visual and parameters I'm gonna explain a little bit more uh, I just opened laser ray 3d F uh, FLA and it already has the one instance on stage and if you open the component inspector that's where you can see you have uh, three kinds of input either class XML or drawing panel so it really depends on, on what you need to do uh, but usually you can uh, if you want to for example type text you use the class definition or maybe the XML let me just show you that if you start out it'll I it starts with a, a square uh, a rectangle it's one of the it's just a basic shape so you have something to start with well the uh, important one is the class definition uh, if you have selected class definition you have one button here it's it says set shape sequences and you can see it already has example shape now what what else can you do there to see what else you can do you have to open the the class definition it's here in com that's against design laser 3d it's this one definitions 3d and if you open this file you can see it has a a lot of definitions basically they're the fonts most of them are letters A through Z for uh, two different kinds of fonts it's serif and sans so and also the numbers and as you can notice you can see let me uh, show you the one for uh, sans it has a uh, uh, I think five or six different v uh, variables the most important ones are these uh, points sides and sides curve too basically it uh, what, what what happens here is it defines where are the points in the grid and which uh, points are co connected for a shape and you don't have to concern yourself about how it works because you can use the, the drawing panel just to create the shapes and then save them later but I'm gonna show you how it works if you for example put here sans or oh, le let's use a serif it's uh, a little bit prettier uh, a let's just put the letter a done if you export and try it out it will create the letter a and there's a shortcut if you want to write more than one one letter I already created uh, a method which will dissect what you type here if you click in uppercase and it has to be in uppercase font serif underscore and anything you you type after this it will dissect into different letters so if you do ABC and click done the automation routine uh, I implemented will already cut it into three different shapes A when it's done B and it will go on for all the letters now there's something important uh, how does this work you can have if you for example don't want to do it like this you can do the same thing what I just did as such serif A let me copy this paste paste I actually used uppercase but that doesn't matter that's because the serif A, serif B and serif C they're already defined in a class file you can see it uh, let's just find them serif A yeah it's right over here you can see it has the serif all the data grid wide grid height y space points sides and curve two same for for the other two now turn off uh, turn up the speed by decreasing this value so it, it will build the lines faster 
just showing you that it will create three letters you can also put multiple sequences so if you want instead of these three together you can also put them in sequence you can I just added a, added a sequence for example if I would want letters B and C together and let's say I want another sequence with letter D done let me just check sequence A letter A sequence to letter B and C and, and the final sequence letter D so if I test it out it should go A fade out B and C fade out and D and back to A now what uh, uh, in the preloader I already explained a little, bit a little bit about what these parameters do but I'll repeat them here this one is uh, if you want to use the array electricity and let's just use uh, one sequence let's delete this one hang on remove uh, it has to be level 2 remove and remove sequence 1 so just to check it has only one sequence one letter done ah yeah if you want to uh, have some reminder ab about how to put the uh, multiple fonts at in one go you can always read it here uh, if we're gonna use the array and a little bit slower animation now you can customize a lot of things for example you can uh, customize the ray thickness or the line thickness of the letters and digit transparencies uh, of uh, front back and side thickness of the ray transparency you can also put blending modes modes for a little different visuals uh, you can um, set the colors of the uh, letters and of the ray let's put a, a yellow one uh, you can p uh, set uh, globe quality uh, strength alpha blur for both the letters and uh, and the ray gun uh, you can add smoke sparks with different kinds of options let's just see what it does now you can see the ray is yellow and all the the letters actually the the shapes are reddish um, what else can you do you can use the source or not you can make it from a fixed point uh, you can change the minimum and the maximum scale of the laser gun you can change the size and the depth of the 3d uh, shapes in this case the letters uh, you can also stretch it horizontally which is basically a, a scaling um you can set line by line you can turn this one off then it will do all lines in one go and something also which you might find useful is this particular one it will only do the front side and if you connect all the lines it will be like the visual I think it's uh, you can also find it under uh, sample number two and what else can you do you can change the uh, if you select fixed point it will stay at one point and you can change the point of origin from where the the laser gun will appear for some reason it doesn't appear now let's see ah oh yeah you have to select line by line otherwise it won't use the laser ray 
Uh, what else can you do? You can add a mirror, but you have to be very carefully because it uses a lot of filtering. And let me just put this one back to laser and show you what it will look like. It's very heavy, so be careful using that one. You can set the rotation type of the shapes at four different uh, kinds. You can make it rotate according to the laser gun movement. You can rotate it, uh, rotate according to your mouse movement, and you can set the amounts here. You can make it auto rotate, which will will make it uh, rotate automatically and you can put the value in here so if you put like say 10 it will rotate 10 degrees each time independent of the other uh, rotation factors uh, delay time is the amount of delay which it will wait before it will start the next sequence 3d depth it's by default 2000 it's sort of the the actual 3d uh, distortion depth if you lower it, let's say you want 500 or 200 to get a really good glimpse of this, if you put the grid, grid depth at a higher value, you'll see that the 3D distortion is much bigger this way. Um, these are the main features of the uh, uh, parameters. You can experiment a lot with it. Now I'm going to show you. You can also use the XML file. Uh, it is the same principle as the class definition with uh, some minor differences. Uh, let me just delete this, this one first and start with a fresh one. Now just to show you how the XML will work, let me open the I've opened the XML file so you can see what's happening. It has all the the definitions of the letters, shapes, including a, a Windows logo font which you can see right here. And it's going to be used in the sample. Uh, 3D has to be set to automatically true because it will need to generate 3D shapes from 2D uh, data. Uh, you have a one parameters XML node here uh, which will override any values it already had from the component uh, by default. So I've put line build steps to one to make it a, uh, a really fast uh, animation and you can see the glyph, str the glyph string has different entries. It will start with a Windows logo, then it will use uh, serif font uppercase AB at three spaces, and these spaces are actually small spaces, but they add a little extra space between uh, letters. And then uppercase CD of font sans, and the third sequence will be lowercase ef serif and lower upper uh, lowercase uh, gh of sans so if you try that out you can also see that uh, the laser color will be red and it will have sparks and it will use the ray beam instead of the laser so if we try it out it will look like this Ah, I forgot to select uh, XML. As soon as you select XML, you have to, you will need to choose the XML file. So I did that, and if I try it out now, it will start with the logo, Windows logo, create uppercases HB serif, space space, uppercase CD sans, third sequence lowercase EF and lowercase gh of serif and sans then start back from the beginning that's about it so i covered most of the 
the options you have and I'm also gonna explain a little bit uh, extra about the presenter variation in a different tutorial so this should be enough to get you started using the file so again as always have fun with it <laughs> 